Hey everybody and welcome back to Omni Legacy. This very well could be the season finale. We are playing as Lady Sonia the third. Which I believe we were playing as Lady Sonia the second in like one of the recent episodes. I'm recording these in a batch, so it's like I we, we've done this. I remember saying Lady Sonia the second. Fountain text here. Uh, interesting. Uh, on, on our card. Uh, gigantism, we are huge. This is true. Uh, this is like a magic card, so we're 7-5. Interesting. We're gonna just get right into it. We managed to get a lot of armor, which will hopefully help our survivability. And, uh, yeah. Off we go. We only had to give two of our gold. So now, as much as uh, I did mention before, or in this past few episodes, that as fun as it would be to just waltz right in and go for the boss, I want to see how much money we can earn. Like, I really do. I want to see if we can get all the way to 100,000. I, re I remember getting pretty darn high in terms of money the first time I beat this game, which was before I had my YouTube channel. Oh gosh, that was a centerpiece. I didn't even notice I was trying to get across the room. But yeah, I want to see how much money we can get, which is basically clearing the entire map. Clearing the entire map, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm basically going to be trying to get take down as an option as much as possible. I want to get to the darkness and use it, or and, and do it as I've been doing it before. Since the darkness has in fact killed me uh, quite a few times of late, I, you know, I want to have the fallback on the castle to get health. Because last time we died when, last time we were a traitor, uh, we died when I really didn't want to die. You know, it wasn't a farming uh, life because I was a traitor, and I need to be a traitor for the for the final achievement that we have to to get, which is of course to enter the boss fight as a traitor and mock the traitor. This is a long room. But yeah, so with that being the case, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious this time. Especially because I didn't realize that the big guy did 100 damage per swing. I only had 80 health. I thought I was good for one hit and would be able to retreat. This is if I'm remembering correctly. I know I was very low on health. I don't remember the exact value. Okay, we didn't even get a teleporter into the darkness. That's okay, though. I think gigantism is going, gigantism is going to work in our favor. Well, there's the teleport. Um, it does give you a bigger hitbox, but the enemies have pretty good aim, so I'm not too worried about my hitbox being the issue here. Um, it will be an issue in the final boss fight, when he throws a bunch of daggers. Uh, it'll be harder to avoid them. This is true. It is you. While I'm invincible, I'm going to take those swings. Very nice. But I think it's going to be a big advantage. Um, because we'll be, we can hit things from further away. Which means we can avoid some tighter spaces that we may not actually want to be in. I'm going to miss that 15 gold. but Okay, I do not have the do not have the spell to take care of that. But if I get a Crow Storm spell, uh, I will remember. Or try to remember. We managed to avoid that damage there. I'm pretty happy with that, considering that that was a little bit of RNG. I feel like this is a boss. Nope, it's not the mini-boss. It's just the center painting. I've already read that painting, but uh, you can, if it's not the mini-boss, you can hit up and read about it. Uh, it's basically the company who made Rogue Legacy talking about some of their previous games. I... Cellar Door Games, was it? My, uh... My game has been pretty much open for the past few episodes in this batch. I don't know, got a hankering for playing some Rogue Legacy, um, especially because sometimes you just need a shorter game. I'm so far into the backlog on Isaac, it's stupid. Like, I, I, I really like playing the game and I don't like playing off camera because uh, I like giving the blind learning experience. The I don't actually know anything about this and, you know, that way I'm not putting on airs like, oh, I totally don't know what this does when I do. Because I think that uh, ruins the experience, and uh, part of the reason why I hope you're watching my channel is because I can help you learn. 
and not just help you learn, but help you think critically about the game. Because the goal is to not necessarily teach you everything about the game, because you can watch a lot of different people do that. You can go on the on the wiki and learn it, but you know you kind of lose a little bit of the spirit of the game if you do that. You know, I mean, I, I could, despite the fact that I could go on the wiki for Isaac and learn everything that I want to, um, instead I use critical thinking to figure it out, which is more rewarding in my opinion. But learning how to do that, uh, critical thinking is a skill. It's not just a, uh, it's not just a thing people do. Uh, man, I'm really expecting one of those to be a mini boss. But yeah, it's it's not something that you just do. Um, it's something you can learn and something you can improve on. Being able to critical think things is uh, one of the benefits you get from video games that uh, are visible elsewhere. You know, when you're when your mom says, what are you doing, you're just playing video games, well, you're learning to critical think. You are eliminating possibilities, you're using uh, guess and check, you're using uh, basically the scientific method uh, to figure out what's going on in the game. And there is definitely some, some plus sides to that, right? Oh, I forgot that I'd shoot a flurry. But yeah, so that that said and done. Ooh. Oh, wait, I actually dodged that? Interesting. And then I got hit, of course. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's that sort of thing that I think is the ben main benefit of the channel. Or at least that's my goal, right? It's what I hope you guys are getting from the channel. Maybe you're not, but that's my goal. And that's what I'm striving for. And I kind of forget how I got started on that tangent, but... Oh, that's right, because my backlog and Isaac's so ridiculous, and I don't want to play off, off camera. So that's why I'm playing uh, some games that I haven't played in a while. So that I can still... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stop playing Isaac, but if I can find an excuse to play some other stuff... I mean, I'm releasing an episode a day, and thank goodness YouTube has scheduling as a thing. But... Uh, in the long run, the whole idea of showing every single episode that I play of Isaac means that uh, every single episode, every single run that I play is pretty much an episode. Uh, occasionally there are a few really bad episodes, or really bad runs that culminate in dying very early. And that of course leads to shorter, shorter episodes or multiple runs in a single episode. Which has happened a few times. And that just means, in the long run, that there's going to be a lot of episodes. Oh, I should have known that was going to hit me. But yeah, I'm on like episode 83 of right as of right now. There are 83 episodes. I think I just released 20 something, maybe 30 something this morning. Like uh so yeah, I've got the next ridiculous number of days basically already reserved for my Isaac content already planned. Ah, oh, darn it. Alright, my health is still good. Good, we managed to kill him fast enough. Oh gosh, there's two of them. Killing that one's very important. Good, I used my invincibility frames well. Okay. I was hoping there was a way down and around the sky, but... I mean, that was simple enough. We are pretty low on health, though. Like, we're reaching kind of dangerous levels. Okay, can't kill him. Oh, wait a minute. I totally can. I lied. I need to go back. I forgot that I had my axe throw. And uh, normally axe throw doesn't work, because you can't get far enough to one side. But with the traitor, your axe throws can be perfectly uh, vertical. Okay. Oh god. Right, you are dead. It appears as though I'm currently out of the other one's range. So that likely won't last for long. Ah. 
Having a larger sword helped there. Strike him through his pillar. Our health is looking pretty good again. Um, I'm gonna wait till I have more mana and come back to that room. Because if I can throw enough axes airborne, uh, I will just win, basically. <laughs> I'll kill everything in the room and not have to worry about ducking damage, basically. Um, oh darn it. I should have dashed. I was going to. Alright. Our damn our, our health is still good. Health is still good. Whew. I was a little worried there for a second. Uh, is everything dead? No. For a second, the, uh, the objective darkened, and we're gonna have to make a trip, pretty much, to get back to that room. But it'll be worth it, because it's a stat up. Uh, well, let's go all the way down to the bottom left of side of this room. Because apparently we haven't explored this way. Alright, good. And a chest. Also being a giant, made sure that my hitbox was within all of the- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I have not seen this room before. I'm using invincibility frames here. Holy bejeebus. Holy crap. That was a bullet hell of which I have never actually seen in this game before. Like, there are bullet hells, and then there is that. Oh my. Okay, well, let's let's uh, do the uh, responsible thing. Get some health and mana. We do have, it looks like, one more room. We do also have this. Oh, never mind, I need to go this way. If you remember this. That one looked like it was vertical enough. Okay, I don't have enough mana. I need to collect a bunch of mana over the course of... Oh wow. I make a very loud sound. Um, trying to figure out the shortest way to get to that room and it's this way. The one room left. Oh. I thought I had cleared this room. Obviously, I have not. Well, I cleared the one side. That's what I did. No, right. that's fine. Good. Managed to get all the. Uh, let's check it out. It's probably a mini boss. Not really. Just. A powerful enemy. Good enough for me. It's not quite a mini boss level amount of loot, but I'll take it. I was hoping for a drumstick. I need to be careful about this. Alright. And a chest at the end. Alright. That wasn't. That's not too bad. It's a little disappointing. I might have been able to clear that, but I wasn't going to take the risk. Um, so we don't nearly have enough mana to do those two rooms, but we know that they exist and most of the enemies are gone in the darkness, which means I am ready to venture back up to the surface. Let's just go back to the entrance and just start on the castle from here. Probably head up to the Maya like I did last time. We're pretty much one-shotting everything in it anyway. So we're just going to build stuff up, and then next time I'm full on mana, we'll uh, drop down back to the darkness and hopefully get one of those two fairy chests, if not both of them. Uh, I would like to just be full mana. Oh, hello, mini boss. Mini boss that I'm not worried about at all. Sweet. I'm pretty sure you can just get... Uh, money from those, so getting a stat increase is really nice. 
Because you don't have to get a static. There was, yep. One more zombie. I've gone through so many chains of thought during this. I'm pretty sure I've left one or two of them completely, uh, you know, without having resolved the topic. So I apologize if that is the case. But that is, uh, as many of you know, how I work. Oh gosh, I'm even one-shotting that. Alright, drumstick is very nice. Is that all of them? It looks like it. The objective is grayed out. And the lock is gone. So, we get some ma magic damage increase. I'm a little surprised that our hitbox doesn't make that fireball hit me. I'm okay with that, of course. Uh, because then I would pretty much have no way of avoiding it because I'm so big. Oh gosh, I didn't even need to take that. I will take the mana, though, as we enter the Maya. Well, I didn't even really have much of a choice but to set that Mimic off. My head was basically inside of it. The second I jumped to take a swing, it went off. Oh, hello, Warg. 26 damage isn't too bad. Uh, unfortunately, my wind-up time on the swing is not fast enough. Very nice. Trader's really good at getting those. Like, there's a few things he can't do. The one shock room room that we saw last episode, Trader can't do that one. But, most everything else seems to be attainable. Because the uh, the way the axes behave allows for some pretty interesting stuff. Um, this could be a big mistake. Lo and behold, it was. Alright, so now the goal is just not get hit. We know how easy that is. Pro tip, I now hate my life. Luckily we finished the darkness. finish the darkness so I no longer have to worry about things that take multiple hits or absolutely having to leave the room immediately like if my health gets too low I shouldn't have that as an issue the other positive thing is of course that pretty much anywhere that the gold drops you can get to it you are not a mimic I was kinda thought that was gonna hit me bunch of money we are already at almost 20,000 gold I'm happy about that, for sure. Well, that was a mistake. The big issue is rooms with spikes, in which the only way to retrieve your gold is to take damage, which, you know, shoots more gold everywhere. That's pretty much what the Sonic Curse does, is force you to lose gold in some rooms. Oh, wow, I didn't even think about that, that canvas. So, luckily, uh, <laughs> he ended up betraying his own- oh gosh. I saw it coming, but not enough invincibility frames. It's okay, health is still good. Our sword being as big as it is also probably allows me to kill those wargs easier, because of course, bigger hitbox, it's gonna run into it. Remember, jump with the flames and then dash. And there we go. That would be another uh, hellish thing to go through with uh, this Sonic curse. Can this be that... Uh, oh gosh. Alright, this isn't so bad. I lied. Only because I got knocked right back into it. Okay, managed to not take damage there. Gotcha. Luckily we do enough damage to one-shot it. If not, I might have basically eaten acid. <laughs> I 
Uh, I missed a chest in that room. All right. Don't want to have to do that. Yep, totally missed the chest. I kind of presumed there was something down here. I didn't really look at the map. I presumed there was an entrance to the next thing below it. And there wasn't, so I had to go back. But that's okay. Um, we might as well go back down this way. For a second I thought that was me landing on something, and I was like, oh man, that had to do a lot of damage. Fall with the fire dash. Didn't even have to step on the spikes. If you don't have to take the risk, why take it? Practice my downward swing, I guess. Did not get very much for that. That worked out pretty well. Alright, so we finished that loop. There are no more rooms there, but we do still have to go up. So we might as well. We're getting close to clearing the castle. That sword hitbox made that significantly easier. Unfortunately, I still messed that up. Come on, I want another one of those damn shrines already. I feel the pain. I feel the pain of the curse. Oh my gosh. That was bad. That's a weird place for a chest to be. I don't know why I didn't... Just didn't set off any warning flags. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of gold hanging out in this room. That's yeah, simple enough. Sweet strength increase, always good, means we'll deal more damage. And more damage is always better. Well, in this game. I suppose there are a few situations in which more damage, having more damage, is not good. But I think that's a very small, very small use case. Huh. I was pretty sure that was going to be a mimic. Without looking at the map, of course. The map would have told me immediately that it wasn't. Oh, I just missed that entirely. Well, luckily, attacking from below, we don't have a risk of actually getting hit, unless I clear the whole thing. Alright, this is not a room in which I want to take damage. Uh, because there's nothing I can do about it if I do. So I'm not going to worry about killing all those things. I could kill the Doomvis. But this is actually a real treasure chest, so let's take it and run. I will do this room eventually. Facing the wrong direction. Taking advantage of that bigger hitbox on my sword. Most assuredly. Any chance I got. I don't think that the silver trimmed ones can actually be mimics. I could be wrong though. I don't think I've seen a mimic that's silver uh, edged. Damn. We're just going to collect it on the way down. Alright. I knew that wasn't a mimic because that's the only reason that I went up. Because I saw that that was there on the map. And if it had been a mimic... Well, that breaks the rules of checking out mimics. Alright, so... Um, I don't remember what all those question marks are, to be honest with you. One, oh, the one was the mini boss. The other was the shrine that I prayed at and got this accursed crap. Um, it looks like we've explored most. Okay, we have to go all the way back down though for that. We don't have a teleport nearby. Uh, honestly, the boss room is probably going to be faster. Going to the boss room, teleporting back to the entrance, and going from there. Except I have to go all the way back around for this one, so it might not be. Actually, no, never mind. That's the castle. That is, in fact, the castle. Don't ask me why I messed that up. But that means that it is, in fast, in, is in fact, faster to go back this way. Yeah. 
Because the closest we'd teleport is... Wait. Why is there a chest over there? Oh. Aha! Map! Yeah, it's just money, but money is money. Who knows, that could make the difference between being able to get that one thing that I want from my manor and not. Can't tell right now, but with 27,000 bucks, I'll take it. Alright, so... Yeah, it's not worth teleporting from there. It's just simply not worth it. I left some chandeliers? How scandalous. Or should I say, chandelous. Nope, bad puns, bad puns. All the bad puns. Hey look, this thing. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it be. The reason I'm going to let it be is because if worst comes to worst, if something really bad happens, I don't want to have to enter the boss room on low health. I will at least have that, and I just have to remember it. Though if I'm really doing that poorly at that point in time, I will likely remember it. Damn you, Sonic. I've already expressed a deep loathing of Sonic the Hedgehog simply because of this curse. I've played Sonic games, they're fun. But oh man. Oh man. Does this does this basically perfectly embody my dislike of getting hit and losing all your currency? It's so annoying. Oh, you, damn you and your ability to go through walls, he said as he swung and hit it through a wall. Remember, no more mimics. Just these things that apparently I'm really good at running into. I escape while I can. While none of my money lays on the ground. Bunch of death and sword swinging going on. Good times. Didn't really need to do that. That that boom is still really disconcerting. I'm never expecting it. Alright, we're just gonna go down. Darn, that was a good snipe. The archers prove to have a level of predictive ability that is rather absurd. I'm leaving that just in case I take more damage in the room. Now oh, I ended up picking it up based on the arc of my jump I was using to avoid the fireballs. Sorry, that sentence was really drawn out. Good! Yes, anything. Cool, Sharon's Oval. Means I can save all my money. Uh, would I take another one? Oh, oh goodness. Yay. <laughs> I got hit and I was expecting money to fly everywhere. Despite the fact that I know that I just got it replaced, my brain was just like, I expect this to be a thing. So much nicer not having to go collect all that money from everywhere. I'm getting hit just for the pure joy of not having to pick up money when I do. That's totally not true, but we'll go with that excuse. The way that. Okay, mini boss. Dead mini boss. Nice. We're just gonna get buffed and buffed and buffed by playing through more and more. Which is always super nice. That's why I like fairy chests so much. Hey, look, we could get daggers. Um, I think that's... I don't want to say it's a bug. Um, that we're being offered the same spell. Um, I... Oh, wow. I think it's literally just as the trader we can't have any other spell. So it goes, hey, generate a... Sp a, a dagger room, or generate a new spell room. What do we put in it? Well, it's a trader, so we can only put daggers. And so that's what it does. I'm guessing, mind you, but that seems to make sense considering that 
the traitor class is unique in its spells. Not perfectly unique, but it seems to be doing something interesting with it in that regard. Not quite reach the plant on the ceiling. Oh wow, it stole my double jump. Um, not sure why. I tried jumping a second time and it didn't. Must been must have been because I walked off the ledge. You only get one jump if you walk off the ledge. Must have barely cleared it. Yay for bigger hitboxes for swords. Means you can get away with so much more. So much that you pretty much shouldn't be able to get away with. Swinging through walls, etc. Oh gosh, this is a take no damage. Darn. Well, I'm still going to kill you all. Unfortunately, I don't have a very good kill everything going downward. Oh, this is this is the one where I've been waiting to have full mana, isn't it? To go back. Should have done that a while ago, because I have full mana again. Well, I don't now, but I have pretty much put full ammo. Ammo. Mana. I mean, that's what it is. It is ammo of a sort. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. Go ahead and do that while I'm still thinking about it. Still need one to arc in the correct... Nice. Alright, I'm going to have to wait for my mana to be pretty high again uh, before going to the other room. Because that's a pretty decent trek from here, which is annoying. But also, it's killing enemies below me. Which is also going to be challenging. Because it's the take no damage, if you remember, it's the take no damage, and there's a bunch of the little acid plants down there. So dropping down is dangerous because I don't always have all the information I need of, of what's below me. In rooms like that, it's uh, usually worthwhile to watch the floor, see if there's any partially see-through areas that would indicate uh, someplace you could drop down. Yeah, come at me, Ward. You don't know what you're doing. I applaud your ability to change direction midair. Because that takes a lot of skill. And probably some anatomy that you don't actually have. That's it, impressive. I didn't intentionally do it, but I killed both those guys while their uh, orbs were in the in the ground, and the map is covering up that plant. That 15 gold, man. Alright. But yeah, and that meant that they just didn't bounce around. Okay. Hello. I unfortunately can't get your gold, which sucks. We've only got a few rooms left. That's good, we've got a lot of health. Our mana won't be full for the final boss fight, but that doesn't concern me. His second phase drops a bunch of mana. And we do still have that one, um... Font. Which we can use for mana recovery or whatever we need. Whatever we need at the time. I mean, we'll get mana and health, but if I need health, then I'll get health. If I need mana, I'll get mana. Alright, looks like we've got one door left and it really I mean it could wiggle its way out it could go down and then right and then down but the forest here does look pretty big which means it very well might not be all right another fairy chest oh but it's the chakram one so I can't actually do it that kind of sucks okay in this case it went left which was something else it could do um well, it looks like we've got maybe th three or four rooms left in the castle, and that's about it. So, we might not get that other fairy chest. 
I might just not have the mana to uh, to do it without taking damage. But we'll give it a shot. That'll make it easier. Alright, this way it'll be like slightly faster to get there, but not really. We've got a long way to go. Mm, just making sure I'm following the right path. All right. Just want to make sure we go the right way. Save some time. Oh gosh, I didn't notice that. It's okay, I can take the hit. More than that will be healed up by the font. Going really fast here. Right, there is no safe spot here. So we open it as fast as we can, so even if we take damage, we're good. And I actually did it. It did cost us a good chunk of our mana, though. But, you guys know what this means. We have full cleared the castle, save for, I believe it's actually two rooms. No, sorry, I forgot about the four rooms that we still have left. Oh, that's right. There's no door there. It's not being hidden by that chest. But let's finish clearing the castle, which isn't too much. Let's go find that font. Because I don't remember exactly where it is. Oh man, this room is so hard. Look at that missile. I have no chance. Oh wait. That's a lie. Alright. Pick up a few hundred more gold. Can't ever complain about picking up... I would love to find a hundred gold right now. Oh darn it. I broke... Broke chandelier and like... 150 gold? Yeah, you know, popped out. Cool stuff. would probably be more valuable than, sh than the chandelier. Oh, I guess this is a room that we didn't see yet. I didn't even think about it. It's not like it actually matters. Okay, so let's find that font. I think it is what's above this. Is that what this one is? Yep. 60 mana. I probably should have double checked that we had cleared everything first. So let's start, let's start looking at the castle. I don't see any open doors. The Maya, once again, no open doors. We failed at that fairy chest. Did we? Yeah, that was a take no damage fairy chest and I totally took damage on it. The other one was kill stuff and I didn't. Have the right spell. All right, we're ready, let's do this. on this episode of Dragon Ball Z. I am going to make that joke. Oh, we just get to go right here. What's this? Are you mocking me? Well, there you go. Achievement unlocked. Catagalactic glasticism, whatever. After countless generations of your ancestors sacrificing their lives. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> this actually is different text. I didn't think it was. After countless generations of your ancestors sacrificed their lives to be where you are now, you finally, s the final steps to achieving their hollow justice, and you arrive and mock me? Very well. I will spare your ignorance. Let us begin. I'm gonna wreck you, Johannes. Like, do not, do not see this. I'm a giant. Oh. Yeah, he drops a bunch of, bunch of health, bunch of mana. 
I'm gonna see how much I can leave. You think you have slain me? I have lived for over a thousand years, and I will live for ten thousand more. Alexander, Kidder, Ponce de Leon, I was not the first hero to reach the fountain, but I will be the last. And then he destroys the fountain and becomes the fountain. Let's wreck this fool. I like dramatic music. Yep, I wouldn't I figured I wouldn't be able to dodge that, but I mean <laughs> I just face tanked him and beat his head in. Ellipsis. You have defeated me, but at what price? I may have slain the king, but only after he betrayed his people. Ask yourself what justice has been met. In the end, we are all guilty of the same sin. Look to your forefathers. Such is the cost for unquestioned loyalty. The sun. I had forgotten how it feels. Look at that. The king. Huh. It doesn't show the hundreds of enemies you must have slain to reach here. Just the king. I'd never noticed that. Also the fact that it says his actual last quote there. Sorry, I got a little bit of chills right there. That was pretty sweet. I forgot about that. Wow. And that's it. McRib. Nice. That is Rogue Legacy. I say, I hope we've killed an even number of them. Or the same number. Gradiator. All I can think of is that it says Radiator. Scout, Pupil Visionary. These are these are really well-named enemies, by the way. We only slayed one Kidder because we could only slay one Kidder. Uh, but yeah. It's a really great game. I know I've been saying this throughout the entire series. Um, but I'll say it again. It's a really great series. It's really Sorry, it's a really great game. <laughs> the series is nice too, but I made it, so I'm kind of, you know biased. Over the course of this, we basically got every achievement we would have gotten normally, and the new ones. Uh, Salos is the mini boss I keep expecting in those painting rooms. We get, I, I do like that we get to see how many of things that we slain, that we have slain. It is pretty neat. It's also very interesting how rare the uh, stronger enemies actually are most of the time. Like n not the uh, like the mini boss characters like that, but the the tier three, like the guard box two thousand versus that or Flowermon. I think we saw most of the Flowermons that we killed in that last, well, like the last three or four episodes. But yeah, I would say that this series is pretty good representation of the game. Um, there's probably a little bit more grinding involved than one might expect. Uh, but that was mostly because I was going for those achievements, those extra achievements, and I had to uh, basically stall for time on some of them. And even though we did lose some of the footage of the Neo bosses, which does make me a little sad, um, we did get to see two pretty good ones. <laughs> Notice how Herodotus, we only technically killed once, but we killed his 30 pieces that he eventually breaks into. Nightmare. Ah, uh, the puns. Warg, Worgen, Worgen, Florgen. It's a Worgen, Florgen! Johannes. Fountain. It hasn't shown us the Neo bosses, and it doesn't look like it's going to. Oh, yeah, I was right. Celebrate our games. And that is, of course, Lady Sonya the Third running victoriously towards the exit. I do like how they uh, legacied themselves uh, for their for their images. There, they got pixelized for it. Just letting you enjoy the credit music.
One of the things that I don't think I've mentioned very much of over the course of the series, and maybe I'm wrong, because it's been a while since I've recorded some episodes, is I haven't really spoken much to the music in, uh, in the game. Obviously, I've made comments on the opening music, and uh, now and again, I think I've said something about, oh, the music is tense. Um, but overall, the music... The one thing that is both awesome and annoying about music is if it's done really well, you don't notice it because it creates the atmosphere um, without you putting conscious effort into aiming at it. So, it took us 44 iterations. We played for 27 hours and 13 minutes. That is quite a bit of time, but a lot of it was just farming. Or grinding, however you want to put it. And I guess we press A to exit. And there you go. We've got a nice little crown, and we are going to start your Legacy Plus. Uh, not this episode. At some point here, I will definitely do that, though. Because, as you can see, we haven't unlocked everything. And, uh, in, I guess we... So that means we actually haven't gotten every achievement. I lied. Over the course of this run, we haven't gotten every achievement because we haven't unlocked everything. We've unlocked all the runes, but we haven't unlocked all the armors. Uh, which we will start to get in New Game Plus. But I'm not all that inclined to spend money on weight. Um, because if I do, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to max it out. Like, there are max, there is a maximum weight that you can get. That you can carry. N not, like, by leveling it up to 50, but by looking at the heaviest things that you could possibly put on, there is a maximum. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. But as long as we keep clearing fairy chests and getting bonuses, some of them are going to be weight. Which means that we... Any weight that we find after we go past that max is going to be wasted. So until I find something that I want to put on and can't, I'm going to hold off. We've got a lot of armor, but I think... I don't know what I want to do. I probably want to start maxing crit chance. But damage does look really nice. It'd be nice if we... In New Game Plus, enemies are significantly stronger. Significantly. So I think this is where we're going to put a good chunk of investment. Now, I do have Sharon's Obel. So I can save this money if I so choose. I don't have to try and spend it down to, you know, 10 or 15 gold. Um, should also get some health, and I don't think we can get anything else. So this is where we're going to end the episode. We gained a grand total of 14 damage from that, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's where we're going to end the episode, with Lady Sonya being victorious. And yeah. I, overall, I am very happy with the series. I am looking forward to doing some new Game Plus. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series thus far. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted some videos, but I really do appreciate... Uh, any and all support that I get from it. I hope that uh, you learned a bunch from it, because uh, now that we're entering New Game Plus, it's kind of a, a different battlefield, but um, you've pretty much seen everything. You've pretty much seen everything the game has to offer um, from a basics mechanic point of view. You've seen the final boss, we've seen all the different classes at some point or other. Um, yeah. Oh, we get to play as Lady Sonya again. Oh, that's weird. There's going to be two episodes titled Lady Sonya the Third. Cool stuff. It's going to feel really sad when she dies in the castle. Because that's, like, inevitable at this point. Anyway, all that aside. I am glad that you guys have been watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.